Hey there, everybody. Fett here, and welcome back to Fett Plays RimWorld 1.0. Our ship's looking kind of swood. We got a storage area. We got food a-growing. We got shuttle bays. We got ship roofs. We got cargo shuttles. We got a cargo... We got a ship. Our quote-unquote original ship over here. We need six fuel to get to it. Six percent. Excuse me. Don't even start getting it twisted. And we got some bots we could send over to it too. So we'll probably end up doing that. I also feel like we need to get more stuff over here. But that can come in time. And I'm also thinking... I'll probably just pack this boy up. I wonder if you... Uh, obviously, it's not heavy. It's uh, it's one of those buildings. So I'm wondering if we could just, you know, pack it up, send it up, have ourselves a good time, you know, battery overload. Research how to transform androids into walking bombs by making their internal batteries explode. What? <laughs> Dude, the Android Tears mod gets more and more insane every other freaking week, and I love it. You can turn androids into bombs. That's just nuts. Got a lot of, a lot of chunkies over here that we need to uh, put somewhere. Where's my chunky zone? I had a chunky zone over here, right? There it is. Uh, let's expand our chunky zone, please. This is now our chunky zone. Thank you for doing a favor. Hey, we got some more replication. Repli repli done is what I was going to say. And then I goofed that up pretty damn hard, didn't I? Okay. That is uh, six more thets. That is 30 thets. Okay. That's a good amount of thets, if you ask me. All right. Let's shove some more thets into the assistant bucket. We got one through ten assisting already. So we got 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18. Uh, well, actually, yeah, look, some of them are over here. Well, no, wait, some of them are assigned. And I guess they could be like, so 12, 13, 14, and 10 are assigned. Uh, can we? And the answer is probably no. Can we actually get you connected? I can hit recover. Select the consciousness. Uh, that one. I'm going to guess he didn't do it because the boy's not up. Okay. We probably won't be able to recover until the boy's up. That's fine. It is what it is. And in theory, that is all that it is. We also need to build a new moon record. But no, we also need to build a new cargo shuttle. And I guess... I mean, I don't care where we put it. Put it right here. Sure. Love it. All right. Because we need to bring this boy with some more fuely fuel, in my opinion. Let's go ahead and bring uh, 500 fuel. And then uh, we'll bring a little bit of, a little bit of pemmican. Why not? And then we'll probably need some more actual freaking important components. So bring some compounds. Bring some herbal meds. They could use it. I actually meant to do 90. There you go. Give them some herbies. Give them some more steel. Give them like, you know, 2,000 more steel to play with. I guess... Man, we don't really need to send them jade for anything. So I don't think I'm going to do that. They also have a lot of sandstone. I'm not going to send stone in the space. Kind of freaking... Dude, you take me for here. No, 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 no. That's not what we use space for, okay? No, 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 no. I'm tempted to send some of these weapons up there, though. Oh. Not that we ever use them, so, you know. A little irrelevant there. Yeah, I don't think we need to send anything else up right away. I mean, we could send more silver, I guess. There you go. All right, up in the space with that stuff, please. I know it's going to take some time, but we have a little bit of time. On the ship, we're looking a little bored. 
Uh, oh, I should have brought bed materials, but I didn't. But that's okay. I don't need to bring all the bed materials because we have beds here already. So for now, let's just uh, put down some beds. Yee. Yee. Yeah, I think everyone is everyone is going to be good. Um, yeah, the beds go down here now. Why? Because that's where they go. If you don't like it, that's too bad. Also, please. Okay, bed 11's already on it. Perfection. All right, and this is frozen in here, right? Yeah. Yeah, it does work. I mean, granted, it's negative 43. We only needed to be like negative 20, but I'll take negative 44 as well. Yeah, no, that's plenty fine. You seem to be pretty good on temperature in a lot of areas. Not all of them, though. Some places could use a little bit more, but that's okay. This is the most important area for temperature, I think. So as long as it stays at a decent temp, right now it's at 69 degrees, which is, uh, nice. so I will be okay with that. All right, we need some stuff to go with these, of course. So let's give them an illuminated end table. I promise I won't ever say it like that again. Um, we're just gonna throw one down for each, there you go. We're not going to have one in the middle because I'm a cheap bastard. But we will also give you an illuminated... Okay, I lied. I will say it one more time. Dresser. I guess... I guess you're going to get two illuminated dressers. My condolences if you only wanted one, but you guys can split it. It'll be fine. We could also do a wardrobe, but maybe we'll hold off on that. Okay. Yeah, for now at least. Maybe put a radio in there as well. How many compounds do we have in this freaking place? 66? Yeah, I think we could afford a radio. A second radio, to be specific. Yeah, in fact, that's what we'll put in the middle. A second radio to listen to while you sleeps. It'll be great. It'll be grand. It'll be beautiful. Get on the freaking ship. All right, and I think we had boys here as well. We could send this one back, but... Eh. I'm gonna hold off for now. Gigi's still getting used to space. Someone did point out that Gigi does have Undergrounder, and that might be what's giving us the minus five on the space, which is... very possible. But it that does also offset stuck indoors. So, you know... It could, it could be working for us, for all I know. Either way, there you go. Nice little bedroom area. That meant to the extended furniture. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else I would put in here for now. For now. Maybe later. We'll see. I haven't decided. But yeah, I definitely need to get a tax somewhere up here eventually we'll see i'm not sure about that yet okay so we definitely have more space to expand the ship eventually i'm probably going to want a much bigger area for the sleep rooms when the time comes okay the ship's almost here just because all of ragamuffin has to go in here for starters and you know what? I, you know I'm gonna have to do it eventually. I'm gonna have to put this boy in here eventually, someday. We'll just put it right outside. You, what? You don't think I'm gonna transfer all my consciousness to the ship? Are you nuts? Of course I am. It's part of the flavor. All right. Congratulations, dudes. We have more crap. Now someone refuel the damn ship. Because once it's refueled, we're ready to blast off again. 
Capacitor Array is charging quite healthily so far. So that's good. Now the battery thing... I can't believe that's a research. Oh, it's actually like... Kind of terrible, but kind of amazing. Just conceptually, you know what I'm saying? You're picking up what I'm putting down, you smart lads. I know you do. That said... We're definitely gonna want us to get some more, maybe some more caskets. I said that with a lot of finality, but I'm actually not sure if that is the case now that I've thought about it for about two half seconds. <laughs> All right, I, I look forward to getting some some shrooms and grapes and strawberries. In rice. Okay, we're partially fueled up. We're fueled up enough to go there and back. So once we've gotten the steel moved out of the way, we're gonna load up some androids and we're gonna go figure out what's going on. All right, Big T, get the rest of that for me. Most of the rest of it. Alex Theo Gray, picking up the trash. Thank you. It's not actually trash. It's useful materials, but you know what I'm getting at. Okay, cool. Also, before I forget, because I did forget, home area has got to expand. Yeah, it's the... Uh, this is all included. Don't know if you knew that. There we go. Okay. Better, better, better. Better, better, butter. All right, Android, 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 Android. We got four of them ready to go and kick some stick. So let's, I don't know. I don't think I have to have them bring anything with them. Just load up. Boop, boop, another boop. And what do you know? A final boop. We're loaded and we're heading over. We're going to learn the secrets that lie within that other ship. That was our original ship that we crashed on. So there might be... I mean, the game said it itself. There might be some dudes in there. Who even knows? There's like so much noise here compared to everywhere else. Not, well, not even compared to everyone else. There's just more noise everywhere compared to space. It's like in space, no one can hear you. I don't know what I think about that. It's a little, little scary. You know, here we did expand for Django as well. Senpai and Sylvia have arrived. Sylvia has, uh, seems like traded out her swood hat for a swood cowboy hat. Still nice, still nice. I can't, I'm not going to complain. I could. I could. But I won't. Alright, so going back here, we have three dudes here. So that means we can get one more onto the ship. So we should consider who our next shipmate is going to be. Up in space. And it should be a fleshy. We thought about sending a goose, though. Maybe it's time to think about sending... Nah, he'll get bored. He'll get bored super easily. You know, I forgot to bring the Ava helmet. Ugh. Well, that's okay. We still got more to make. I think I still got, I got the order down for it right now, don't I? Yes. In fact, let's, uh... Let's throw the priorities on those up a bit. Get all those helmets made. There's two of them. Oh, one of them's poor. That's okay. They don't have to be perfect helmets. They just have to be helmets. Get them all up in the space. And that way we can have ourselves a core. Core of soldiers, that is. We just get out there and kick the crap out of everyone. We've almost arrived, my dudes. Here it is. We're in orbit. And we found another orbital site. Damaged satellites in nearby orbit. Takes 21% of fuel. Holy jeez. And we don't have long to get to it either. That little ass trip takes 21% of fuel? 
What the hell? They have to navigate around some freaking debris or something? All right, whatever. Might be a lot closer or farther than the, from the planet than I thought. Maybe that's it. A relationship. Pinky's aunt is on the ship. Yeah, it does look like it might be higher up in orbit, which means it would you'd have to go farther away from the planet. So maybe that's what's doing it. Holy jeez. Oh jeez, that is. That is a big hexagon. The hexagon, right? Six, six sides? Yeah, it's one more than Penta. Yeah, I think that's correct. Okay, we have landed. Let's try not to frick this up, guys. Let's go. It's a lot of debris. As your colonists approach the derelict, their minds shudder under a sudden psychic pressure. For a moment, the ship's AI emanates feelings of warmth and recognition, as one might feel for a prodigal child or an old friend. This greeting does not last. The AI's mind reflexively lashes out at these newcomers. These reminders of its failure, grief, pain, horror, powerlessness in the face of atrocities. These emotions strike your colonists with an intensity that threatens to shatter them. If you can find and neutralize the AI, your colonists will suffer an intense psychic drone. How intense are we talking? I don't know. Uh, but battle has begun. Get the hell out of there, because that is a lot of sudden turrets. Also, I think there was... Was there an explosion there, too? Thought I heard something. Alex Theo Gray, you got a shield belt. And you got a freaking Beta Poly Club with some Scyther's names on it. Shatter them up. That 11... Took a little bit of damage. They're not being directly affected by the psychic. Trillium's not going to be affected, of course, because that's what Trillium do. That said, this whole thing looks to have been taken over by some mechanoids. What is this? A steel machine gun. We actually have someone? I don't even... This Thet doesn't even have a weapon. Get in there. Get in there, Theo. You're first. All right. All right. Big T, that 11, you go man some things. Alex, Theo, you get those. Oh good, we can man the machine gun. Okay, it doesn't look like everything is connected, which is probably good news. Yeah, some of these just don't have power, which is fantastic. I don't know what this assaulter is doing. Okay, it is attacking Alex the Gray. Oh gosh! Things are randomly getting power. Run. Oh no! They're burning! No! No oh, boy. We're not exactly the weakest lads in the universe. But... Once that shield belt goes, I'm going to feel very scared. Hit this thing. Two, one, zero. All right, you shoot that. Oh, jeez. Uh, Big T, shoot this thing. Quick. Oh, jeez. Oh, the canister. Okay, it's down. Good. It's a computer component. Sweet. Um, Yeah, we're going to take down... Everything that looks like it might be able to hurt us. Oh, God! Shot in the bioprocessor. Thankfully, it was the one without a weapon, but still. All right. It's disabled. Okay, that happens. That happens. Get out. Get out of that fire zone, Big T. And in fact, take that thing out first. That's what's scaring me now. The fire. Oh, actually. Yo, shoot this. Alex Gray, this is a man turret. Grab it. You also. Shoot over here. Come on, blow that thing up. Blow it up by accident, at least. Damn it. 
Oh, wait. Something's blowing up. Okay, the flame one's blowing up. Get behind fire. And by fire, I mean protection. That 11. Sorry, we can make more tier 4s. We can't make more Terilliums, so if something happens to him, we need to be careful. And by that, I mean we need to be careful something doesn't happen to him. I know what I meant. Don't worry about it. There we go. Okay. That's most of the scariest part. That 11 can also be compromised. Oh, that's perfect. That's what I wanted. <laughs> All right. Sweet. Okay, move around, guys. We blasted a hole in the ship itself. We don't have to worry about that. Those are manned. Whoa, 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 what? Killian Retro James. Space Cannibal? Eat his space feet. Alright. So that's not great. Okay. Gray, you're you're in charge of the defense here. Do they all have helmets? Bear skin Eva suits, huh? All right. Okay, get over here. Oh, never mind. Just get get out of the way. Oh, crawl over the bodies. There we go. Hold up. Let them come through. Let the shield recharge. Oh, okay. There you go. No, we're safe now. Now we're safe. Uh, Big T, are you losing any coolant? No. Fed 11, losing a little. Alex Theo? Alex Theo? No. Okay. So far, we're looking pretty damn safe. And the enemies are starting to look pretty damn dead. All right, we're not going for any prisoners here. Oh, geez, get that. Never mind, he's dead. Okay. Whew. There's a lot of ship to explore, it looks like. And there's a lot of cannibals on this ship. Yeah, just stand right here for a minute. Okay, they're shooting, so let's drop back. There you go. Hold up. Theo. Hmm. Ooh, that's a stun weapon. Well, it was. <laughs> All right. Take a quick look. We just gotta get through the door. If we can. There we go. Okay. Oh. Wow. I'm guessing this is, uh... Where part of our journey started. Okay. How long is this ship gonna last? We have no idea. We could actually take control of the ship if we wanted to. It is a good size ship. I'll give you credit for that. Nene's confused. All right, let's head up here. More caskets. A very weak battery. Hmm. A bionic spine. And a few very cruddy materials. Big T, why don't you uh, help do some of the... Uh, no, don't attack the hall. Just explore. Help explore, please. Alright, our job right now is just to look around. That 11... Ah, ho, ho! Get back. Is there anyone who can actually come at us? There's a centipede and a scullywag. Okay. Oh, jeez! Blasted in the leg. That's okay. We're safe now. And we know what's here. 
All right, get over here. Uh, up here, a couple of advanced components. Doesn't look like anything we can't live without. There was a little bit of gold in here, too. I did notice that. Okay, a little bit of more gold. Nothing major. All right. Let them come to us. For our team, this is easy rares. All right. Should probably do that the other way around. <laughs> you go here. You go here. You go on top of the damn thing? Yes, you can. All right. We should be pretty well protected, I was going to say. But somehow we're still taking some pretty dumb damage. Okay, let that door close. So that he's forced to come forward. Oh my lord, he took even more damage. He's leaking fluid. Alright. These things do appear to be like occasionally gaining and losing power? Is this belt ever going to come back on, by the way? Equip delay, charge rate. I mean, it does eventually turn back on, right? Hmm. Damn it, he's just going to stand there now, isn't he? Yeah, pretty much. No, not you. You stay back. Big T. Okay, thank goodness for Bastion. Can I start with that? Bastion here, keeping us alive. There we go. Hmm. You know what we need? We need another ship to start with. Uh, okay. Let's toggle hover mode. Launch you again. I'm going to say put Big T in it, but we're not going to put Big T in it. Don't worry, Big T. You're not going anywhere. Head back to... Message only other space sites. Well, dang. I guess we're going to head back to the ship for now. All right. We're sending that back to the ship for right this second. Okay. Well, while we're waiting, let's come down here. Ugh. Those are some crazy accurate things, you know? Wait, are these all empty? Now oh, he's gonna tend to himself first. That's kind of what I want. I guess they are. Huh. Alright then. Apparently, I'm going to wish I brought food. But that's okay. We can we can ship stuff back. What I want to ship is a sniper. That's what I want to ship over right now. Because that's what we're missing. We get a sniper gun. These turrets are done, son. Speaking of which... The range on this OC is a little too good sometimes. Oh no. Riley was bitten by a fish. Everyone hold on to your butts and give me some Fs in the chat. There we go. How far could this shoot? Okay, this could shoot at us. So we need to watch out for that. But it's not right now. Thank goodness for Bastion, dude. How can you shoot at me and I not shoot at you? Alright. So 
wait until we see him charging up his next shot. That's all we gotta wait for. Okay, we can now make uh, androids explode. Why we would want to do that, I'm not 100% sure. But what's important is that we can. Yes, apparently we could do that. I mean, I guess I could go sacrifice that 11 for gits and shiggles. Oh, he's aiming, he's aiming. Get out of there. Oh, gee, get out of there! Oh, goodness! McGracious. Okay. Up here. How far can you shoot? Ooh, baby. Got him! Oh, man. We're, we're, we're playing the game right now. Totally. Some, like, XCOM shit right here. Gotta get everyone in the right position. Make sure you're in full cover at all times. Don't throw away all your freaking life. You are a precious flower that cannot be replaced easily. Also, please don't die. Oh, please don't die. Please do not die. My friend, Big T. Okay. That's feeling a little bit scared. I don't think I had a reason to, though. Alright. Well, as much fun as we're having, and we're definitely having fun. I am. I don't know about you. That is going to have to be it for this episode. Oh, wow. I got it that time. Of that plays RimWorld 1.0. We're going to take this ship. It's going to take some time, but we're going to do it. If you're enjoying this episode so far. Well, I mean, the end of this episode. If you're enjoying the series still... You're almost 450 episodes in. If you're not enjoying it, please stop. You can only help yourself. Uh, make sure you let me know you're enjoying this one still, though, by giving a like. And if you haven't already, feel free to subscribe for more. Because it's Rim World. It's going to keep coming. It won't stop coming. Probably. And I will see you. Oh, I can't shoot those. In the next freaking video, my dudes.